Good morning. We're back live, and this week the Congress coming back in session. C-SPAN has a new studio looking over the Capitol and uh, spending the week talking about some of the issues facing Congress as it begins the second half of its, of its session, the 103rd Congress. For almost three decades, C-SPAN's Washington Journal has called this small studio with its spectacular view of the U.S. Capitol our home. This set has been a town hall for the nation. We've hosted over 30,000 public officials and other experts here and taken more than 600,000 calls from you, all with the Capitol as our inspiration. C-SPAN's little studio is really just a corner office with a great view. Over the years, it's had a number of different looks and experienced a few growing pains. Now we're about to say goodbye to this set and move to a new space in the same building. We know many of you have been along for the ride with us, and we thought you'd enjoy looking back at some memorable moments in this studio. We've had a lot of familiar faces here, including politicians. Joining us in this segment, Senator Mitch McConnell, Republican of Kentucky. He's the Republican Senatorial Campaign Committee Chair. Thanks very much for, uh, in a busy schedule, taking a few minutes for us. Senator Kennedy, good morning. This is a Republican thanking you good. for your service. Oh, thank you. Uh, my mother, Rosie Doris, it, it really admired your mother, Rose. Hello. And thank you. thank you. But we do have differences. Okay. Our two guests, members of the House, both Republicans. Mike Pence from Indiana, Christopher Shays from Connecticut. Gentlemen, good morning. We want to introduce you to Representative Hakeem Jeffries, who is a freshman member, a Democrat from New York. I want to introduce you to our next guest, Congressman Kevin McCarthy of California's 22nd District. When you stood that day and looked down the mall, it was a sea of humanity. If he ever runs for president, he has my vote. Thanks for the call. I'm not old enough. <laughs> and joining us now, Senator Bernie Sanders, independent of Vermont, the Veterans Affairs Committee Chair. Good morning. Good morning. Let me pivot to another question. I don't think we've ever asked this on C-SPAN, how you spent your Valentine's weekend, but... <laughs> well, I, th I think President Bush had it exactly right yesterday in this uh, magnificent address. We are joined by Anders Fo Rasmussen, the former NATO Secretary General who served from 2009 to 2014. Members of the media, just try to do dispatches from the road and make politics seem as fun for the readers as, as it is for me. I don't know, Donald Trump became the Republican nominee. Unlikely, but if there was every year, this is it. And that's certainly true of the internet. It has a much, it's more like talk than writing. Uh, and so people say whatever comes to mind. Congressman Joe Scarborough, Republican of Florida, good morning to good you. Good morning, how you doing? Laura Ingram of the Independent Women's Forum Advisory Board. Chuck Todd is political editor with the National Journal's Hotline. Good morning. Good morning, JJ. This is a very important topic for the American people. It is how our political process moves forward. Speak. Oh, okay. We're on. Yeah, this we're is on. TV. This is TV. <laughs> yes. Mike Allen is with us. He's national political reporter for the Washington Post. First time to our table. Can I so quickly look at the picture? Certainly. You haven't seen it. You know it's coming. It looks as if I look even, how even more sordid it? than I do this morning. How, 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 how. A few astronauts. And Mae Jemison joins us in our studio this morning. Good morning. Good morning. We should go boldly where man has not gone before. Fly by the comets, visit asteroids, visit the moon of Mars. Some celebrities. I'm an entertainer. I, I really, I don't want to go much past that. But, um... Is this Cher? Yeah. Okay. I watch this show religiously. I read everything. I read newspapers. I feel that I'm... You know, I've, I just always wanted to be informed. Judy Collins, award-winning singer, songwriter, and author of the book Sanity and Grace. Jeff Bridges, actor and spokesman of Share Our Strengths, No Hungry Kid Campaign. Chris Novoselic, uh, the founding member of Nirvana, a member, a chair of Fair Vote, also the author of, of Grunge and Government, Let's Fix This Broken Democracy. Joining us on the line from California is Barbara Streisand. Good morning. Oh, first of all, my name is Streisand, with soft S and A-N-D, like and sand on the beach, okay? Okay. Barbara Streisand. Everybody says my name wrong. It's so funny. Some uninvited guests. And right behind me, you'll see a man uh, washing the windows here this morning, yeah. which happens when you least expect it. About, it's about time. Yeah. We've also had a few alarming incidents, literally. As the fire alarm goes off, <laughs> we'll get a call. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Friday, we had a window washer behind us. We're having a fire alarm here, as you can probably see. I apologize for cutting you off, but the fire alarm's going off in this building. This isn't a goodbye. We hope you'll tune in tomorrow when Washington Journal debuts its beautiful new set. And what continues in our home is what's really most important. It will remain a place where Americans connect with Washington and with each other.